Hello, class. I hope you're all doing great. Hey, Mr. Adams. So, last time we discussed a very interesting topic, which is related to aging and how we can measure it. Does anybody have a question or is confused about something? Please ask. Last time you said that if we want to measure the DNA methylation pattern, we need hundreds of dollars. That means not everybody can afford to do that, which is disappointing. I said it used to. Now, scientists have figured out a way to pull thousands of people's samples together and run them as one in DNA sequencing machines, which brings down the cost to about less than a dollar to run this. Why is that important? It means that one day, anybody can do a cheek swab, determine their biological age, and figure out whether what they're doing in their life is working or not to slow down aging. So theoretically, if you want to check my biological age every week, I could do that for $50 a year, essentially? Exactly. And eventually, it'll be a little home device. You can do it every morning, if you feel like it. Like if a person who hasn't done the right things in life for a healthy body has older biological age. That is correct. And we can measure this process of aging with accuracy. That means we have a biological credit score. And we can do proper, suitable things to maintain our biological age. Like eating healthy and doing exercise. Everything that our body requires to stay fit. The question arises, if a person is 20 years old, apparently he is young, but his DNA methylation pattern is not good enough. Is he biologically aged? Yes. If a person is 60 years old and has a DNA methylation pattern which is good, so which person is more likely to live longer? 60 years old one. Does that mean our age is malleable? Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. So now you know that if we choose a healthy lifestyle, we can increase our age. I have one question, ma'am. Go ahead, Elsa. Are there any natural supplements you can take that help maintain or reverse our age? Like we take vitamins if we have a deficiency of that nutrient? That is another discussion that we'll have some other time. Sure, sir. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.